So today I thought it might be fun to try out some drawing in fresh paint in glorious 720p on the beautiful uh, camera here and a touch screen tablet you can see some things that I've been working on testing stuff out so just in case people were wondering how you do this you get a nice little palette here and uh, you can mix your paint right here I think that's pretty neat and it uh, just lets you mix right in I'm working with oils right now and I'm gonna use a fan brush I don't really want that green in there <laughs> but uh, usually the first thing I start off with is a sky and sky is kind of fun <laughs> got lots of different colors in it. If you look up at a sky, which I always find interesting, you will see that just about any pattern and any color that you can think of is happening in the sky. So, I wish it wouldn't do that, but it does. And uh, I'm just going to start. Now, one thing that I've learned is that, I want that tab to come over. is that uh, you don't just want to do this, right? That's not very useful. Now this fresh paint program is really good because it gives you the option of having a textured canvas, which I really like. And so you're working with this and it allows you to have a little bit of show through and a night sky like this will really show star patterns and stuff. I'm going to go back because I actually liked what I had there. And so it's best to go all the way across like this and get rid of those smears that are kind of internal there. I don't really like what I'm seeing there. You really work with it. Now I don't like to fill out the entire page. I kind of have a um, I get enjoyment <laughs> out of leaving it there. Um, kind of unfinished looking. What I want to do is try and get my tab back but I can't seem to do that. So that that actually clears out your brush. This little guy here lets you pick a target and say yes I want that color which is kind of neat. There's a fan down here that lets you dry everything. And where I want to start right now is putting a mountain out there. Now, we're already using a really dark blue but, and, uh, and it's nighttime. So, I think we'd see some colors. We'd see a little bit of brown. I don't want this little tablet to wobble too much. But we'd see a lot of black, you know. And so I want to mix a lot of black in there, more so than the blue. And I want even more black than that. And so you can see up here in the top part of the tray here, it's actually pre-mixed these colors for me already. And I kind of want to create a mountain shape you know we're not going for Mount Doom here but uh, we want to be thinking about different areas and we're really interested in these black lines here they're the ones that are really going to help us again it doesn't really matter what's happening in the foreground right now I'm going to deal with that in uh, in a minute there's no layers to fresh paint, which is interesting, uh, unlike the sketching program that I'm used to working with and have worked with for the last little bit. And I'm going to switch back to a white now. Um, it's interesting because it's not a perfect white, and I don't want a perfect white. I want kind of a muddy white. Apparently I still want my fan brush. So that color we mixed and it's there and we can use that. So now we're going to start getting some, you know, oops, 
This is the beauty of this <laughs> program is that you can change what you're doing a little bit, you know. And uh, if you don't like it, then uh, and you can erase it, start over, test out a different pattern. And uh, turns out I do like that one after all. And we're just going to go all the way up here. I kind of paint this in, you know, a little bit. So one thing that uh, you very quickly learn about art when you're um, kind of fussing around with this stuff is that everything looks like crap halfway through. <laughs> okay, and I'm not I'm not saying this looks like total crap or anything like that, but it's not looking as beautiful as I want it to be, right? So what I'm doing here is I'm creating the reflection color. And I'm pretty happy with that. And pretty much we're going to put this... Okay, so there you see I've picked the wrong brush. Now I actually want this thing. But I can easily go in there. And anywhere where there's a kind of a reflection you know we want we want this this is going to be our separator between different valley areas we want some there um, so we get this nice effect going all the way down and I'm going to switch back to kind of muddy brown color and just go over these areas a little bit. It didn't smear as much as I would have liked but it gives us the idea. Push up here. Interesting it really went with uh, with the white up there. Oops, not quite sure what, uh, what I did there, but <laughs> I accidentally started a new a new mountain. So I really like the kind of kaleidoscope looking effect that you get from this. So at this point I'm going to go to a mop brush and uh, you know if you're looking out into the night you're going to see things that get darker as you get closer and so we're going to put in some trees that are still pretty darn far away and so I want these to be dark they don't want to be dark apparently purple is a mighty color <laughs> let's see here I'm getting a little bit of wobble so I'm going to continue mixing and I'm just going to mix that yellow in for kind of a surprise and we're going to keep mixing black in here and I'm going to start now just putting in layers of mountains tree lines in the distance right these are these are just little tree lines. Doesn't matter to me what they do. And uh, getting the idea now that it might be a good time to do our foreground. So I'm going to go with a, a brown kind of foreground. It is nighttime. There's going to be a little bit of green in there. Mix a little purple and black in there. And then come back with the brown. And uh, what I'm doing here is not enough brown. A lot of green in there. Much to my surprise. That's okay, I can go over it. And it's okay to have a little green in there. I'm not 
disappointed about it or anything like that. And the nice thing about this is there's no real way of making a mistake. You can't really screw up this kind of artwork. keep working on it. I like this little squiggle in the middle here. Alright, now I'm going to go back to my broad brush and grab that and continue crossing a little bit. And You know, we think in terms of color theory. Let's put in some uh, contrasting colors here. I know it's nighttime. Purple. Going really well. No, nope. it's not quite doing what I want. So it's got to be light, you see, because it's uh, it's contrasting off there, but I'm not liking what I'm seeing. The purple in it, it just doesn't work for me. So maybe we'll go with a gray and a yellow. I think that might work pretty nicely. It's got a little black in there. And go back to the yellow. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can live with that. Yes, the start button. That's what I want. <laughs> Alright, we're going to make a big decision here. Okay, it's time for me to apply my drying thing because we're getting too much... Um, interference or smearing and I'm going to go with the little brush here and oil it up with that and we're going to make some smaller branches one thing I'd like to work on is my trees um, when I look at trees out in the real world you know they have a lot of intricate uh, work on them especially deciduous trees and they don't look much like my trees so. uh, but uh, you know we'll work with what we got let's clear that out uh, so what color would be really good here you know we haven't used any um, any reds or oranges or anything like that I'll switch back to this brush and uh, I'm gonna create something here that pops out a little bit I've already got that orange in there. And so, you know, so I'm not overthinking it. Okay, I don't like that long one there. <laughs> Sometimes we get carried away. And. Alright, there's a couple there. that I didn't like. Okay, it's kind of refusing to drop them on the left. Okay, so we're getting a lot of um, orange based stuff there. Uh, I'm going to do, that's what I wanted. Uh, I'm going to do a yellow Type highlight. This is Jason not being familiar with his tools. <laughs> Very familiar. Uh, so we're going to stick with the same brush, but we're going to go back to uh, a yellow and a blue highlight. I think that might look pretty cool. A little black in there. Let's see. And it's coming out kind of muddy. 
So we're going to skip the black on that, I think. Let's see how this this looks. Hmm, not as much blue as I would have hoped. See the the danger there is we're going to get green out of it. Yeah. And it's not a bad color. You know, I think I'm going to use it somewhere else. I'm going to use it as the ground color. And uh, I'll grab that mop back and use it there. And get our first layer of groundwork going. Again, the beauty here is there's absolutely no right or wrong. Get rid of those, they don't quite fit. Uh, and I'll be going back to my mop brush here. Um, so the key is to think in terms of, of somewhat complementary colors. No, nope. see, it doesn't work. <laughs> they just kind of disappeared. So you do need something to stand out. And uh, I just don't think that that's going to be it. It's okay. There's something missing from it though. Um, maybe white highlights or something. Huh. That that really made the brown stand out, which is kind of curious. So we're just dabbling in with some highlights here. Uh, and I'm going to do one more ground layer. I'm really not sure what color that's going to be. I might go back to the purple here. Uh, something really dark because it's it's really up front here. Let's see if we can get some highlights out of that. And uh, switch my brush back. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Very, very kind of similar to the middle row there. Uh, I think I know what it needs. A little bit of highlighting. And that gets us to what I'm happy to call our finished picture. <laughs> I'm not going to sign it Bob Ross style. Let me get that in there though. And uh, I think that's a keeper. Well, I was pretty quick. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, all right, we'll post that on Facebook in a minute. Thanks for watching.